So I'm going to kind of skip the writing the, actually, I won't. I'll just do this. So again, we know we're adding two angles. Okay. So therefore, since I'm adding two angles for cosine, let's just write out the formula that is given to us. Did I write that out? Oh, I didn't. I won't. So using that is going to be cosine of u times cosine of v minus the sine of u times sine of v. Right, so using our formula, we apply that. Right? And now we just plug it in. So cosine of u, so that's going to be the cosine of 120 degrees. Um, this one's going to be dang it. I'm sorry, guys. I already did 30 degrees. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Cosine 120. Hold on a second. Hold on. Um, this one's going to be, so this will be cosine of 45 degrees minus the sine of 120 degrees and sine of 40 degrees. So, yeah, that's all right. Cosine of 120, 120 degrees, that's in the second quadrant, though. Ah, I did want to do this. So that's in the second. Ah, I did change that. Yeah, well. Wait a minute, that was 60? That was supposed to be 30. Okay. Either way. This is now in the second quadrant. So therefore, instead of it being 1 half, now this is going to be 95. negative 1 half. It's in the second quadrant. Yeah, right? Negative 1 half. Yeah. Cosine of 45 degrees here is, um, that's in the first quadrant, so that's square root of 2 over 2. Never mind, this is exactly what I wanted. Sine of 120, that's in the second quadrant though, so that's still positive. So it's a minus square root of 3 over 2 times square root of 2 over 2. Again, could you multiply first and just simplify that way? Or could you factor out, a, again, another square root of 2 over 4, right? And therefore, that's going to leave me with a negative 1 minus a square root of 3. How could you do that? Do what? Here to here? Yeah. You're just taking out what they have in common. Don't they both have a square root of 2 over 2? Yeah. So you factor that out. And then they both have another 2. So basically, these they have in common, and then this denominator they have in common. So the only thing left. It's a negative 1 and a negative square root of 3. So that's what's in there. Negative 1, negative square root of 3. The square root of 2, these are the same. So you can factor it out. Right? It's like this. It's like 3 you know, times a over b minus, I don't know, 4 times a over b. Well, you can factor out the a over b. Agreed? So it's like 3 minus 4 or something like that. Like They have those in common, so you can take them out. Uh, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, you can also factor it from here as well. And that's the way I used to teach it. For some, I used to teach it that way, and students did not like factoring out the rat. Like, they got the 4. Like, why you factor out the 4? That's kind of obvious. But they didn't like the factoring out, why do you factor out the square root of 2? But yeah, these both share a square root of 2 in there, so you can factor that out. But yes, you can use, that's actually the way I used to teach it, um, but I just made sure. So there you go from there. Cool? Kind of? Maybe? A little bit? You guys do not seem that very excited. 